You're watching Otto Dumont and this is Tunisia. Hi guys, if you like our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In this third episode of Auto du Monde in Tunisia, we visit the Roman ancient city of Duga and the magnificent Arab city of Kerouan with its beautiful mosque. <music> We leave early in the morning in direction of the archaeological site of Duga, located at approximately 112 kilometers from the city of Tunis. This journey will take us a little less than two hours. The landscape is spectacular, the region being very hilly and fertile. Welcome to Duga, or Tuga, an ancient Numidian city that came under Punic rule before being taken by the Numidian Berber king Massinissa around 200 BC. We are currently in the theater of the city built by the Romans. Indeed, Duga became a city of the Roman Empire after the Battle of Tapsus, in 46 BC. Located on the ancient road, halfway between the metropolis of Carthage and the garnison of Tueste, the current Tebessa in Algeria, the city grows fast. The Punics would have sized the place because of the quality of the land for agriculture and the region has even supplied Rome in wheat. We are here in the heart of the religious life of Tuga. We can still see the remains of the temple of Neptune, but especially that of Saturn, which preserve some columns. It is towards 310 BC that the city appears for the first time in a book on the occasion of the expedition in Punic territory of Agatocle. Tyrant of Syracuse. Here stood the ancient fortification of the city. Although little remains from the Hippodrome and the Temple of Minerva, the remains of the Roman cisterns can still be seen on the site today. Its integration into the Roman Africa Nova under Augustus brought almost stability to the city until the 3rd century and its urban landscape was transformed with the construction and restoration of about 50 public buildings. From this period, epigraphy and archaeology have preserved the evidence of at least 21 places of worship. The remains of Duga's ruins are impressive and the landscape is breathtaking. Duga's surprise is to find a well-preserved forum and capital, central places of Roman civic life. The building offers an exceptional view of the entire region and forms the heart of an almost completely reconstructed city. The expansion of the city under the Romans is very well known. Two gates were built under the Sever, and we pass through the second gate, built under Severus Alexander, and leads us to the temple dedicated to the Roman goddess Juno, who is said to have replaced the Punic goddess Tanit. <music>
Before leaving the site, we will pass by the House of Venus, and especially the Licinian Baths, which reminds us the exceptional past of the city. Walking through the ruins of Duga, you are back in the Roman era. A lot of Latin inscription reminds us of this at every step. After our visit of the archaeological site classified by UNESCO since 1997, we set course for Kerian, the religious heart of Tunisia. The drive is 150 km on country roads. Welcome to Kerwan, which was the first Arab city in North Africa. According to historian, Al Kerawan would be a word of Persian origin, which probably refers to the caravanserai. Thus, the camp of the Muslim conquerors became their capital in the 7th century. This is why it is often said that Kerouan is the fourth holiest city in Islam, the holiest city in the Maghreb. With its creation, the Arabs inaugurated a new policy. Henceforth, they were no longer satisfied of a few raids, but settled permanently in Ifriqiya and erected a fixed and permanent base from which they could manage and extend their domination. Arab sources relating to the Muslim conquest indicate a certain hesitation to settle here. Indeed, there were four attempts before settling definitively in Kerian. The Great Mosque is probably the most beautiful monument of this period. A visit to this grandiose building is a must for tourists in Tunisia. You might meet many of them during your visit. From a historical point of view, it is believed that the Great Mosque was built between 670 and 675 by the Arab general Uqba ibn Nafi. At the same time, he founded the city. The multiple columns come from the Roman sites in the surrounding area, and you will notice that their marquee are disparate. The city is also known for its huge water basins. The most famous was built in the 9th century. It is a reservoir consisting of two circular cisterns that communicate with each other. A marvel from its time, the large basin is a 65-sided polygon. Outside the walls of the old Medina of Kerwan, there is also the famous mausoleum of Sidi Sahab, better known as the Barber's Mosque. It is in fact the tomb of Abu Zama al-Balawi, a companion of the Prophet Muhammad, who died in battle in 654. Nicknamed Sidi Sahab, he is considered the patron saint of the city. The present building is believed to have been constructed between the 13th and the 14th century and was completely renovated in the 15th century when the medersa and the minaret were added and the dome of the mausoleum was completely redone. Thank you to the guardian of the holy place for taking few image inside the sanctuary. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Watch some image of our next episode.